Hello everybody, so I was working on something like this, so I wanted to show it off. Um, it's just a little bit of setup with the vellum setup in it, so I ended up creating something like a mommy kind of effects, so I just wanted to share um, my setup. Yeah, let's, let's check it out together. So first of all, um, I have our test geometry. Greg. Um, I unpacked it and give some subdivision because I wanted to make it look like more smooth. Uh, for my setup, I just didn't want like a, this little guy over here, um, like the you know the whole handle for for the axle. Um, first, I freeze on the frame one. Um, and yeah, the whole setup. So I put it in the loop. So this way, I can do my iteration for like um, each part. Um, on this corner here, so I just have like a little bit peak and just a box. So because um, uh, I will use only the bottom side of the box, so which will be my grid. So you can just use a grid, but it's better to use a box because like if you have um, if you need to use like a loop like this so like you will have the grid from the bottom of every uh, every piece of geometry so like if I come here so if I go with like every iteration so you will have like exactly the same for them all right um, and then I, I give him some subdivision because so um, it can be more smooth it's better and I copy like many times so I give like a hundred copy and it's all packed so this is why we don't see anything um, the reason I pack that because so I need the ID number so this way like they will be individually a hundred points like uh, you can see here so this way so I can give the ID for the PT num so this way I will have uh, my ID uh, let's bring it here uh, where's the inspector yeah, if I go to my like uh, inspector, so I can see all the all the IDs over here. Um, the reason I pack so that's the another reason over here uh, because I I put in the loop again. So let's visualize it like this. So I want to have every individual pieces um, because I created a mult data, so you can give any data. So basically, I'm using the fit function and creating. Um, some random ID numbers so um, these numbers were working better for me so like it might be another number for you so I don't know so it's, it's good so then um, I use a trip promote to uh, change my mold function to the detail because so like uh, if I select this and go to detail yeah so it gives me like a minus 3 so the reason I'm doing this because I will use a detail function for my rotation um, this is uh, I give like a two rotation so it will create like a random rotation um, at the end I will have something like this yeah so um, the reason I'm giving them random rotation because so these these guys will be my line so um, when I come here so these weird rotation geometry so will be my guide so to create some random lines like that um, actually this is the only important thing for the setup so because like uh, the creating those lines was only only the important part uh, the rest of it is just bringing all the data back so um, I give some smooth and fuse them and give a polypad to connect to the end so that's another important trick over here um, and I did the same technique here over here to like again the same I use multi function but this time I'm giving a fit function between 1 and 1.1 so I use the same uh, technique over here because uh, in here I want to um, un change the uniform scale a little bit so this way some lines will be a little bit ahead of them uh, let me let me crank it up a little bit so I don't know maybe if I do like five yeah you can see some lines going up some lines going down so like this way uh, 
the uh, lines will not, you know, stick each other. So, and after that, just a sweep knot uh, to make it ribbon. So, all right, let's bring it and see the whole geometry, like how our guy looks like. Um, by the way, I'm using M3 processor, so like it's crazy fast. I really love it. So like if any if anybody has a question about it, so I can yeah give all the answers. So yeah, um, even though uh, my stupid laptop is better than my work machine at from work. So anyway, so and here I'm bringing the original geometry here, and I'm using. Uh, VDB from Polygon so on my scene so like this kind of voxel was good but most probably if you have like a bit bigger scale of thing so uh, maybe it will not work for you um, and then I'm using uh, the bonding volume point from vertices only so but it's from the volume so when I hit enter so yeah um, it's not fully operated so because I don't want every part to pin to the geometry because like these points will be our the points that uh, stick on the geometry so you, I mean you can come here you can play more or less it's totally up to you so for my setup so I use this I loved it so it's cool good for me and here's the whole geometry of the animation because I'm gonna use it over here and then there's a vellum setup I didn't even change anything um, only thing I change actually is the triangle. It uh, comes with the uh, alternating. But so when I do that, so I'm having like these artifacts over here. So I don't like that, and it creates some weird problem in the simulation. But when I said the not, so they're all gone. Um, uh, it was working for me. I didn't do any setup after that, so which is cool. So and here actually I did the same thing too. Um, and then this is another important part over here. So like these pinpoint and whole animation so I'm setting up over here so I say like geometry pinpoints just like a target geometry is animation like um, when you get close up so you can see all little small things like uh, sphere so they're sticking each other um, and I did the whole simulation over here um, the simulation is a little crazy so like if you play um, I see some artifacts so like I really didn't want to spend the time to fix that so I just delete them solved so over here um, I have the first frame of the animation and if I bring another null here to visualize I have the animation data here and I have the mummy style uh, Greg over here so what point deform does is so when you freeze the time you need the rest position so because like the middle section says we need the rest point and I use the original animation over here and then when I um, did the point deform so I basically like this from uh, before simulation and it brings like your static uh, geometry so you can have the animation top of it and the reason I did that so when I come to simulation part so I see lots of gaps all around it like even over here because you know because of its cloth objects so like uh, most of the thing is going away so this way when I merge them so it looks more fully mummy and some cloth around hanging out so uh, I don't know it was a little trick I guess to um, I mean which everybody knows so um, and then I did another simulation so which I didn't I really didn't want to do everything in the one um, vellum simulation so actually I was done over here so I just wanted to edit some more parts so this, this is the only reason actually so they're just disappearing actually so but I didn't like um, the animation after that so it was keep shaking and stuff so instead of dealing with this simulation so I uh, decided to use like a time blend and time shift um, when you use the time blend so it will calculate the subframe so this way when you use time shift so you don't have to use like a integer frame only so because um, what I'm using is let's see from here so what I'm using is on frame 245 I'm on the same value 
but frame 300 I have 275 which means 25 frame missing so if you use integer frames so your animation will acting up a little bit so you will see like some frames jumping because you will see like 266 267 268 so like that but uh, if you turn off the integer frame so your frame will be floating right now like um, so but this is the reason you should use time blend because it's calculate subframes so um, and then I brought them back all together and that's it let's watch again Um, thank you guys. So this is my first English troll actually. So I was doing all my trolls in Turkish and somehow so but uh, I gave up doing that. So after this also I will keep continue all my tutorial in English. So uh, maybe this way I can um, reach more people and help. So thank you for watching guys.